screaming. Yeah. We've well, come to the right place today. I want to highlight a little bit about our music. If you heard that other song that was just sung before, that was our traditional music with our instrument. It was known as Montetera. Today you're going to see our more contemporary side of music. And this first bite set that you're about to see is known as the Waiata Arima or the action song. And so we've taken instruments from the Western world and made them way better with our harmonies and also our actions. If they want to sit back, relax, and enjoy our first item, the Waiata Arima action song.
crowd, I couldn't help but notice some of your faces. Some of you were inspired, excited, and even flabbergasted. Yeah? You're probably thinking to yourself too, I can do that. Yeah? You definitely can. Hang the left, right over here, we have our awesome Poi Māori workshop where you too can try your hand at the Poi. And so, apart from Māori music and dance, our beautiful people illustrated our history through artwork. He toi whakairo, he matangata. With his artistic excellence, there lies human dignity. And so for our people, we rely upon carved figures, woven panels, and beautiful paintings to preserve our history. Houses like this are very common in Old Tealua, New Zealand, with well over 800 of them. And they represent our respective ancestors of who we descend from. And so this house was actually shipped here in pieces, assembled here on site in the year of 1963, and the opening of the PCC. Now, this one right here personifies one of our great ancestors, Hawaii Loa. He was known to be the father of Polynesia for us. Now, above me, the rich pole represents his spine, the painted rafters on each side represent his root cage. And so we had no written language at that time, and so we relied on these patterns as such to preserve the main lines of descent and also the diverging descendants. And so in your families or cultures, you might have a family tree, correct? Yeah. All the branches, all the leaves, us, we have a family root cage. Yeah. <laughs> and so with that being said, this takes us to these car figures on the wall. They are our most illustrious ancestors. We call them Popo. Can we all say Popo? Popo. And so these Popo represent our main tribal leaders of Old Tewa, New Zealand. And they're real people with real stories. E te i te peka tītoki. I like the branch of the tītoki tree, which decays and dies. People live on through their descendants. We are those descendants that stand before you today. We love our ancestors. We have many stories about them. And so right now, we're going to introduce to you one of our students who will step forward and recite her genealogy in our beautiful language involving our landmarks, our tribes, and also our communities. So we'll give it up. Kia ora. So yes, that was a short introduction about who I am, um, stating the most significant things pertaining to me. Uh, so I mentioned my mountain, my tribe, my sub-tribe, my canoe, and of course my name. Uh, if you could just draw your attention to the back there. That right there in card form is my ancestor, Kamatea Arikinui. Can everybody say, Kamatea Arikinui? Very good. So, Kamatea Arikinui was the captain of my waka, or my canoe, the Takiti Mwaka, uh, which came from the Cook Islands to Aotearoa, where I'm from. Now, I descend from him through his grandson, Kamatea Hokaifinua. Right, let's try that one. Kamatea Hokaifinua. Hey, very close, very close. Alright, so between me and him there are about 15 generations, but someone I'd like to introduce is a man by the name of Maharaya Winyatha. He was the first person in my tribe to pursue a high education, his bachelor's degree. Not only that, he was actually the first Maori in New Zealand to pursue a doctorate degree overseas in Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, which he then actually went to the University of England. Um, so he studied to become an anthropologist, known today as Dr. Maharaya Vinyata. And um, so with his determination and his strength to go off and pursue a higher education, he actually set an example for the rest of my tribe. And with that being said, I'm privileged and proud to say I'm the first member of my family, including my extended family, to pursue a bachelor's degree right next door at BYU Boy. Kia ora. We have the of real stories. We're going to introduce you to one of our influence that entertained our ancestors and also trained them up with various skills. You may know it as a stick, but we call it the TT Thoria. Can we all say TT Thoria? And so for us, TT Thoria was a way to condition yourself, hand and eye coordination, awareness of movement, and fast reflex skills. It was all simply done by grabbing a stick and throwing it at someone else. Just like that. <laughs> and so you're going to see here on stage a fine demonstration of those skills, coupled with the values of unity and cooperation. In the final, this is the stick game, TT Dorea.
That was just a small warm up, something like for you. Now, would you like to see it faster? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to see it faster? Yeah. Awesome. So we have two words of encouragement for our awesome performance here on stage. We say, Kia Dere. Kia Dere. It's a little bit more up here. Kia Dere. And so in English, this just simply means. Hurry up, that's what it means. So you go past that, this is TT Thorne. Thank you. 